What's happening, guys? Paparazzi talking ball cards. Um, gonna do another video today. Uh, had a lot of fun with that last video, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, the overwhelming response from the community was good. Um, and you know, I, I like to say that I, I don't think that's representative of my channel. Um, like to have a little bit more fun than that. Um, so, uh, bashing on PSA is, although it's deserved, um, it's not the main focus of uh, my channel. So I'm going to get back to some fun things today and also try some new stuff. So I'm um, going to do a giveaway. Uh, can't believe how fast the channel's moving. So thanks, you guys. All the new subs. Uh, going to do a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Also going to uh, take a little bit of a dive into um, stickers. So are stickers worth anything? Are they worth collecting? Um, I'm gonna use a couple of examples and walk through that. And then we're gonna actually open up some stickers uh, and talk about an HGA update as well. So um, let's get into the new segment here. I'm gonna call it Papa's PC Corner. Enjoy guys. And welcome to the Papa PC Corner. Um, so uh, starting this segment off with uh, VintageCardPrices.com. If you guys don't have VCP, um, I highly recommend it. I use it for a lot of my research, um, and it's a, it's a pretty incredibly powerful tool. Um, this is just the homepage here, and one of, the, one of the things that they like to display on this homepage that has new cards every day is you can, uh, you can take a look and see what's spiking. You know, um, obviously, Calvin Johnson, uh, Megatron stuff is going up in his PSA 10, number 277. It's up 564%. Uh, Oscar Robertson auto card is up 573%. Some of this stuff is obvious, but, um, you know, it's not all necessarily um, stuff that you would think of every day. And I actually owe it to VCP for showing me uh, this next card that I want to highlight here. So um, one of the things you could do here, um, if you log, if you sign up and have a membership, which it's pretty affordable, um, I think it's about 120 bucks per year, um, and I would say it's worth it. Anyways, uh, you you know you you can type and look for uh, whatever you're interested in. You know, let's let's do a little daydreaming here. 1952 tops mantle. Uh, so shows you the card here, as you can see, and then it gives you prices. Um, so th these are um, some sale prices pulled in um, from various sources in various different third-party holders. Um, so you got PSA, SGC, GAI, BVG, BGS, and then PSA Q. That's for if uh, something's been autographed or if uh, something has a qualifier. Anyways, um, you get the idea here. You could see that PSA ones are selling anywhere between thirty-eight thousand dollars and fourteen thousand dollars, with an average around twenty-three thousand right here. Um, so, uh, anyways, this is this is a pretty incredibly powerful tool. Uh, you can look and you can see how prices are trending, which we're about to do right here with our uh, with our main uh, subject here. So, this card I saw pop up on this uh, on this home page that I showed you here. Um, it showed as a card that was popping up and boy has it. Oh man. So this is the 1982 Tops sticker LT Rookie. So you have a Rookie Hall of Fame sticker here. And let's take a look at these prices. Um, so the first thing that should probably jump out at you is, wow, a PSA 10 going for 860 bucks. And I still think that has some room to go up. Um, these cards are really appealing, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the way they look, uh, I love the gold uh, foil. Um, and, uh, you know, LT looks like he's doing some sort of warm up there or something. And I, I just, I really like these cards. The fact that they were made by Panini. Um, you know, at that time, uh, a little known to Americans, uh, Italian company Panini manufacturing stickers for tops. I just think it's I think it's a great story. Uh, I don't want to be repetitive here. But anyways, um, Hall of Fame rookie card. Let's let's take a look here at how some of these prices have trended. So we'll look at a PSA 10 example. And um, what you can see here is that man, oh, man. If if you were just looking for these cards um, 
Let's see. Back in 2018, these things were less than 100 bucks for a PSA 10. But as you can see, um, there's there's quite a jump here. Uh, we go uh, all the way from uh, September 2018 up to uh, last year, 2020, July. Jumps up to 310, like like a lot of things have jumped up. And then, wow, um, a more recent sale here in uh in March of 2021. And, and you have to say like, wow, why is there so much space in between these data points? You know, why, how are there no sales? Why is this card? Uh, why is this card not moving? Um, you could see that look here. I mean, there was a six month gap between this sale and then there was almost a two year gap for this sale here. So, you know, what's going on? Why is a hall of fame rookie card not being bought and sold more? Um, so to answer that, let's take a look at the PSA pop report here. So this card that we were looking at uh, is number 144 in the set. So let's go to the 1982. Um, I already started uh, searching here for LT. Here's 144. So uh, first thing here, you'll see that there's a variation of this card, the coming soon card. And, uh, and, and that's just uh, a version of the card that was released alongside um, the standard tops issue for that year. So these stickers were inserted into the packs. Anyways, uh, you can see here that this coming soon variation has a, pop, a total population of 141 cards. So it's a little uh, it's a little more popular than the standard version here without the coming soon. But look at these numbers, guys. Look at these. There's there's only eight graded in a PSA 10 there, and then there's only 10 of the coming soon. So we have you know these stickers uh, for a Hall of Fame rookie that are, in my opinion, at least have pretty nice eye appeal and they're hardly being graded. Um, and as you'll see, uh, in the next segment here coming up, these cards are affordable. They're affordable raw and they're affordable in packs still. So, um, really, really, uh, intriguing to me. Um, I think the low pop uh, is definitely artificially increasing the prices, but um, I do think that myself and my listeners here have an opportunity uh, to kind of get ahead of the curve. And if you grade, if you buy some of these stickers, get them graded, uh, you can see that they're selling well. Um, anyways, okay. So what else did I want to highlight here? I also wanted to take a look at 1981. I mean, can't really talk about uh, uh, you know running. Can't really talk about uh, football here and not mention Walter Payton. So this is another card, uh, 1981. We're going to be breaking some of those packs here in a second. Um, you could see here uh, kind of a similar deal. Uh, there's quite the price discrepancy here between a nine and a ten, which is kind of to be expected. Let's take a closer look at the ten here. Um, uh, first thing that jumped out to me is again, look at how infrequently these cards are selling. So we got a February 27th, 2021 that the last time a PSA 10 sold was November, 2018. So, you know, again, we're seeing here that these cards aren't really, uh, getting out to the market too often. And again, it is the same story. It's the same reason why. And that's because the pops are low. Um, <laughs> the pops are really low and he, here's that same card. We were just looking at the Walter Payton foil. Look at this guys, 65 Walter Payton cards from 1981 have been graded and I say cards, but I, you know, I mean stickers, but still, I mean, that's a really cool, in my opinion, <laughs> a really cool looking card sticker. Um, I mean, and it's only 65 of them that's been graded. So I, I, I do think there's an opportunity here. Um, I'm going to be submitting some of them. And uh, anyways, this was uh, my first attempt at uh, Papa's PC Corner. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of this analysis. Let's get into our next segment here. All right, guys. So I'm going to level with you here. Um, I, I bought all these packs um, to do this kind of uh, just a, a sticker pack rip just because I thought it'd be uh, you know, it makes sense to do that after, uh, you know, doing a little bit of analysis and I definitely couldn't resist. I opened up some of these packs, um, beforehand. So he, here's what these packs look like. I, I bought some 81 
Topps stickers, Topps football stickers. And there are only four stickers uh, per pack. And I was like, hey, you know, I got to break a few just to see what I'm looking for. So this set's cool uh, because it has a couple Hall of Fame rookie cards. And so I opened up a, a few beforehand. Lo and behold, I basically hit them all. Um, so one of the first ones we're looking for, this is a Kellen Winslow Hall of Fame rookie foil card. He also has a base card in here. So take, uh, we're looking for that. Here's his base card. I found that. Um, that, that may be a good... Uh, slab candidate so to speak and then we're looking for uh sweetness as well this is his foil card he's got a couple base cards in here as well and in the 10 packs or so that i opened i hit not one not two but three uh Peyton cards so um th this is what we're looking for out of here so i basically hit everything already um there's also oh and i hit another uh winslow rookie and then an art monk uh hall of fame rookie as well so a lot of cool stuff in here uh let's see uh let's go ahead and open up some packs hopefully we hit some of the big cards or the fun cards that we're looking for i mean you can't just do analysis and and not get into the packs so these packs are cheap um bottom like about a hundred something 130 packs i think for i think for 80 bucks um so let's see if we can find any anything of note here i don't think uh i don't think we got much in that first pack um again made by panini um which at the time I don't think many people knew much about. Mike Washington. Oh, I will say this. They are, <coughs> woo, excuse me. Um, they are extremely fragile cards. I mean, but, and, and these packs just like, they're like falling apart after all the years. Like, look at, I mean, they're barely there. Um, I know the packs weren't searched, though, because, again, oh, this is one of the cards we are looking for. So, let's see here. I would say this is a pretty nice example, other than a little bit of centering shift. Um, let's look at the, let's see if we get some of the glare to look at the surface. Some of these just come, you know, dinged up, messed up right out of the pack. That's a nice one, though. That's nice. Um, I think Peyton has, I think he has four cards in this set or uh, three cards. Um, he has the foil, which is uh, the most desirable one. And then uh, he's got that one. And then he's got a close up of just his helmet. This is uh, Randy Gratishar. Uh, let's see here. All right. Well, at least we got a Peyton so far. I So I'll, I'll show you guys here. Look, all of these, I bought a ton. So I even got some baseball ones. Um, we're not going to open all these because we'll be here all day uh, because they're just, there's so many. I was able to get them for so cheap. Let's see if we can't uh, hit any more of these Hall of Famers in here. Uh, well, there we got a Hall of Famer right off the get. Franco Harris, um, Deerdorf. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, I don't know if I got like, if this box I caught is like a bunch, it's, it's like a, oh, wow, hold up. Look at that. This card was, looks like it was ran over. So, I mean, hitting the cards, but man, this Peyton just got, is just wrecked. I mean, that's right out of the pack. Anyways, um, well, that's one of the, that's one of the Peyton cards we're looking for. But look at that. Must have been something really, really heavy on that pack at one time. Um, or something. Uh, I was going to say, man, I, I can't believe I, how many of the hits, you know, so to speak, hits that we're looking for in here um, have come out of just a handful of packs that I ripped. So, I, I mean... I was wondering, like, oh, am I going to get anything out of these packs at all? Um, you know, they're only 50 cents. Why Why are these 50-cent packs, you know, why are they so cheap? There we go. Kellen Winslow, Hall of Fame rookie. 
and this surface looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, I mean, as, as I mentioned, um, in the analysis, the pop on these cards is super low. I mean, super low. And to me, if you think about the story behind these cards, tops reaching out to an Italian company to make these stickers that ends up being Panini, who ends up being a super player in the sports card market today is, it's just, it seems to me like the recipe for, uh, for some, some value. I think they've been overlooked. Um, definitely going to grade some of these. Probably going to go with SGC for some. Going to find some well-centered examples. But yeah, I mean, I just love these. Oh, I think I left one behind. What do we got? Gary Johnson. John Jefferson. There's another one of the foils right out of the pack. And then Mean Joe Green. That's nice. Let's see what it what did I drop here? Uh, Gary Johnson. Is there another one in here? Oh, there is. Mike Ken. I just think these foils just look awesome. Okay, let's go with. Let's do three more of these, and then we'll then we'll uh, let's crack some eighty two. See if we can pull a Montana. Da, da, da. Who we got there? Randy White. There we go. Very nice. I kind of like how the smaller cards look when they're holdered as well. I think it just. I don't know, maybe it's like just the framing or the way they look. It just looks cool to me, appealing. Let's see. Oh, Doug Williams. There's Largent and Joe Cribbs. So there's a young Largent there. Okay. When you're ripping these packs open, you you want to be careful. <laughs> With only four cards in there and how thin how thin the card stock is, feels like you're a oh man, look at that. Another nice Winslow. And then I think we got another Randy. Another Randy White foil. Nice. Uh Drew Pearson and Terry. Terry Beeson. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at breaking some eighty twos here. I think I have eighty twos. Okay, yeah. So this is the eighty two year. Um, so those were eighty one. These are eighty two. Um, these packs, these packs have six stickers, and the uh, as we're about to find out, if I could get this open. Stickers have, uh, the standard stickers are yellow background. Um, the Montana's what we're looking for in here, Bob Chandler. And uh, there is another Walter Payton and Hall of Fame foil um, rookie for Lawrence Taylor. Uh, don't think we got any Hall of Famers so far. Alfred Jenkins, oh, Ozzy Newsome, I take it back. Very nice. Little miscut at the top there, a little bit of a slant. Let's see, these foils look um, just as cool, in my opinion. So, the story with the Joe Montana, the 81 stickers, Montana doesn't have a sticker, um, but uh, he's got, he's in here. So, looking for that. That's not him, that's Pat McAnally. And then, uh, Let's see who else. We got anyone else in here? Tony Dorsett. So Tony Dorsett recently uh, revealed some of his TTMs. So cool. Maybe worth sending off to Tony. 
Got some nice real estate here for him to sign. Tony, awesome TTM uh, guy. If you haven't seen my other video, check it out. Uh, I got my second return from Tony, so good guy. Let's see here. Uh, not a mucho there. Would be cool to pack pull a second year Joe Montana. That looks, uh, no, that's Mosley, Ray Guy, Tony Collins, and Sammy White. Okay, we'll do uh, some of these packs are just barely holding on. The way that they glued them or sealed them or lack thereof just barely hangs in there. There's another uh, Randy White. And then who do we got there? James Lofton. You could see how banged up that is even just out of the pack. I mean, the foil cards are so thin. Um, Matt Blair and let's see, Dave Logan. Oh, last one. Let's see, we got some Montana Magic in here. Okay. No. There's a... I don't know who that is. Mark Wilson. Okay. Well, I think you guys get the idea. Uh, this is what... These are what the stickers look like. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I'm buying them for now. Um, I don't know if there's going to be an affordable way for me to grade them here in the near future. So, anyways, uh, let's move on here. Let's talk about the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be this exact card. 1968 Tops Willie Mays. Um, as you can see, there there is some... Uh, there's some paper break there from a little bit of a crease. It is an SGC3. Um, so to say, hey kid, you know, uh, the reason this card jumped out to me as a good a good potential giveaway is, you know, we've lost a lot of Hall of Famers uh, in the last couple of, uh, well, in the last year or so, we lost a ton of major Hall of Famers, big names. And so I wanted to uh, appreciate uh, the Say Hey Kid here because uh, he's still with us. And, uh, you know, he, he is he's seeing a bump in his prices like everyone else. But anyways, just want to uh, pay a little homage to uh, Willie Mays here. Um, if you guys want a chance at winning this, all you got to do is make a video. Post it on YouTube and link your video uh, in the comments of this video. So put a comment and link out your video showing your Willie Mays cards. It doesn't even have to be a card. Uh, just show something Willie Mays. Could be a ball, could be an autograph, whatever you got. Uh, we're going to honor uh, Willie Mays here. And uh, in a week or two, uh, I'll give it a week. I think I'll do a week. I'll close it out and then I'll pull all of the names and then I'll use, uh, you know, one of those online randomizers or whatever. And uh, I will go ahead and uh, send this off to the winner. So nice SGC uh, presents well for the grade. Uh, Willie Mays here um, is the giveaway. So uh, can't wait to send this off to one of you guys, uh, guys or gals. That's been uh, watching the channel. So sweet. There's that. Okay, cool. Um, so Willie Mays is going to be uh, in someone's uh, collection here pretty soon. Let's see. What else did I have for you guys? Oh, HGA update. I won the lottery. Um, if you guys have tried to submit any cards to HGA, part of what you have to do to get a spot to actually submit uh, cards to them is you have to actually win their little lottery in their waiting room. I sent out five cards. I sent out the uh, 54 Bowman Mantle, um, a 54 Bowman Mantle, which I don't know if I've shown it on the channel. It's it's a PC card. It has an X on the front of it in pencil, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know that's fine. Then I, I sent in the Gretzky Rookie. I sent in the Bird and Magic Rookie. 
sent in the Michael Jordan 86 Fleer sticker rookie. And then I sent in an 87 Fleer Jordan. So some big cards. Um, I wanted to send some vintage just because I feel like a lot of people haven't submitted much vintage yet to HGA. So excited to see what they do with those cards, guys. Um, and thank you again for watching. If you like these kind of videos or if you had fun, uh, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I will keep them coming. Uh, Paparazzi out of here.